After several courts pointed that aspects of protection of children from sexual offences, POCSO Act, were being used to punish sexual relationships among teenagers, the Law Commission's report on the age of consent submitted to the Law Ministry recently has advised courts to be cautious while going through these cases as criminal intention may be missing in them. Remember that the current age of consent in India is 18 years, which means only at 18 years and above, a person is considered legally capable of agreeing to sexual intercourse. The Law Commission has recommended retaining the existing age of consent, noting that reducing it might impact the fight against child marriage and child trafficking. But a good thing that the Law Commission has done is that it has advised the Law Ministry to introduce guided judicial discretion in matters of sentencing in cases involving tacit approval of children in the age bracket of 16 to 18 years. The panel has suggested amending two sections of the POCSO Act to insert six new clauses each to allow courts to sentence an accused to any punishment lesser than the minimum jail term stipulated under POCSO. It has specifically made three conditions clear that the child must be between 16 and 18, there must be tacit approval of the sexual act and the accused must not be more than three years older than the girl. Remember, the POCSO Act was implemented in 2012 to curb increasing cases of child sexual abuse. It is seen as among the most stringent laws in the land, but in recent years, many cases have emerged where the law was used to criminalize teenage sexual relationships. Of course, the Law Commission's recommendations are not binding on the government, but they do have some persuasive value. Now, why is this matter so important? Well, in the last few years, many activists have pointed out that a significant number of cases booked under POCSO Act in the adolescent age group, which is 16 years and above, have a romantic involvement, including the girl and the boy eloping with the intention of getting married consensually. Largely, a number of these police cases were initiated by the parents of the minor girl. It was often observed that once the sexual act is confirmed, the POCSO Act was slapped on the boy, who often happened to be a minor, slightly above or barely of legal age for marriage. While boys often faced criminal prosecution, the girls were also sent to government institutions for counselling. This encounter with the law was wrecking not just the lives of minors, but also of families, which is why in May this year, the Delhi High Court had said that adolescent love cannot be controlled by courts and judges should be careful while hearing bail applications in such cases. The Karnataka High Court also told the Law Commission of India to reconsider the age of consent as stated in POCSO. Even the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, has urged the legislature to review the age of consent. Remember, Justice J.S. Verma Committee on Amendments to Criminal Law has recommended that the age of consent be reduced to 16 and necessary amendments also get reflected in the POCSO Act. What is most important is that the POCSO Act stays true to its original purpose of creation, which is protection of children, and that laws that govern the land stay in tune with ground realities.